Hello there, my name is Bishop Richard Moth and I'm the Bishop of Arundel and Brighton. I would like to offer you just a few reflections on the book When Silence Speaks by Tim Peters. We are living in difficult times. Many are bereaved, many are fearful and healthcare professionals are working under particular stress and so many across the world are living with different levels of isolation. Perhaps we are living with a greater amount of silence than would normally be the case, and for many, quiet and silence is something of a challenge. In such circumstances, we might scour our bookshelves for something that could help us, and this book by Tim Peters could be a help to many. How can a book about silence help us? Can silence speak? When Silence Speaks is one of a number of books published about the Carthusian order down the years. Indeed, some of them are by members of the order themselves. These are published anonymously. In this book, Tim Peters presents us with a book in three parts. He looks at the history of the Carthusian order, St Bruno, and his six companions took up residence in the desert of the Chartreuse in France in 1084. They did not intend to start a new religious order, but their way of life became established and eventually, after Bruno's time, the customs of the order were laid down. The second part of the book takes us on a journey through the Carthusian rule. The third part examines the Carthusian spiritual way the way of solitude. Perhaps it is this part of the book that speaks to us most in these present times. Peters, like the people about whom he writes, invites us to experience the path of solitude and silence that we take in the desert. And there will be many who right now feel themselves to be in a bit of a desert. In this book, we are taken through the desert of the Bible and into the spaces inhabited by the monks of the Carthusian order. However, the solitude and silence that exists within us, this is a deeper experience of the desert, one that perhaps many glimpse in these present days. This place of greater quiet, even silence itself, provides a space in which we can listen. With less noise, we can tune our ears to different sounds. How many people in recent weeks have spoken about listening to the birds, enjoying cleaner air? We notice things in quiet. We enjoy refreshed experiences of the world. We can listen. And in that quiet space, we can hear in our inmost being the voice of the God who is with us in our pain our suffering and our loneliness. Many are experiencing these present days as monotonous. One day seems like another, especially for those in self-isolation, and we can become apathetic. This is something that is part of the life in the desert, and the monks of ancient times experienced it, just as the Carthusian monk will face it in the solitude of the cell. In time, this apparent monotony becomes something different. A movement of ourselves with the day, the season, the sounds of a quiet world. We retune. This can take time, but what's the rush? This is a lesson that can be slow to learn, but it is worth learning. Why not make good use of the slower pace? to encounter the word of God in a renewed way. This book can help us with that too, for it invites us, as it were, to read the scriptures along with our brothers and sisters who follow the Carthusian way. If the words of the book become too much, there are pictures too, inviting us into this silence, the solitude of the Carthusian monastery. As we listen to a quieter world, as we dare to listen to the silence that is deep within us, in which we encounter God himself, 
Reflecting on these images can still our minds and open our hearts. When Silence Speaks by Tim Peters is a book for our time. If you want to order a copy of this book, there is a link to, to it on the, the website of DLT. Add the book to your basket, and when you reach the checkout stage, type DLT50 in the box marked discount code for a 50% discount. This code can also be used for other purchases from the website between now and the end of July. If you would like to buy 25 copies or more, perhaps for a church or reading group, Contact David Maloney at DLT, David M at Darton-Longman-Todd.co.uk, rather than ordering through the website, and he will be able to arrange an additional discount for you.